hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we are going to retrieve all the uh, requests that we send to other people that is an online user or you can say a current user sent a request to some people so we have to uh, display the sent request also so till now we have uh, displayed the request which uh, which a current user received from other users okay here you can see that and the user has a choice either to accept or uh, delete the chat request or you can set a friend request okay you can see that now one thing which I uh, already I'm going to tell you guys is that if you go to the find friends and uh, let's send uh, chat request or you can set a friend request to Jennifer Carter okay let's say I'm going to send her a chat request okay so if I go back and here we have to display that so if I go back to the request fragment here you can see we have this username user status accept and cancel this is basically the uh, user that is to whom we send a chat request just now that is Jennifer Carter okay all you're gonna need is to uh, change the layout of this uh, user I mean to the send for the sent request so you will understand it more clearly when we will implement it okay so go to the end of studio and here uh, now on our request fragment go to the request fragment and here we have implement the send I mean the request which we receive from the users okay we have already implemented that part now the next thing which is left is to display the send request that a current user will send to other users so yeah here we have our inside the onStart method what we are going to do is after uh, retrieving the received request from the other user okay as you know that we have displayed it what we're gonna do is after this if statement let here it ends okay so here we are going to display all the sent requests so here we can simply say else if type dot equals to and it will be sent which is in the database okay the, the type of the request will either be sent or received that is you can see this is our chat re chat request node okay object and under that we have all the request from i mean of all the users here you can see request type received request type sent and we are already retrieving that here at the top if i show you then this one okay and we are storing it inside this type so by using this type we are differentiating between the received uh, chat request and the sent request okay so here we are now going to work on the send so here I can simply say instead of displaying the accept and cancel button we are just going to tell the user that is the request is sent okay that is you sent request to uh, this person so we are going to uh, access the request request accept button so we can give it a name as request sent button equals to holder dot item dot find view by ID or dot id dot accept request accept button then we have to uh, set the text to this button that is set text and the text will be request sent or you can just say req which means request now we have to invisible the other button which is the cancel request decline button basically so we can say holder item view dot find view by id or dot id dot request and the id for that button is request cancel button and let me confirm this first also so go to the layout and here we have our user display layout and we have two buttons which is request accept button and request cancel button and the visibility at the start is invisible for both of these so yeah let's do that so we can say request cancel button dot set visibility to view dot invisible so now for the time saying what I'm going to do is to copy the code from here and we will change it for the send okay so come here at the top where we say that is if request type is equals to received and then we set add value in listener so first we have to make sure where this code ends and I mean this event listener so if you scroll down then it will give us a highlighted 
curly brace okay you can see that so this code ends here so now you can simply copy this code from here up to this uh, from the user's reference which is our this reference okay you can see this so yeah control C and now come down and here inside this we have to pass that code simply and yeah that's it now we have to do uh, some changes for that so user ref dot child list user id which is by using this id we are going to uh, receive the data of the user that is to whom we send the request okay and we are uh, retrieving that is the image and name etc and we are displaying that here you can see that so in this case as you know is this is the send request so instead of displaying this wants to connect with you we can simply say you have sent a request to and if you want you can display the name of that user that is to whom so it is stored inside the request user name variable since I explained all these things in the previous video tutorial when we were displaying the receive chat request from the other user so I hope you know that but now in this case we are uh, retrieving it for the send okay so but from the user's node we are displaying uh, getting the profile image the username and status and we are displaying it here so yeah that's it now the next thing is to allow a user to cancel the chat request okay if he if a user wants so for that we need just one uh, option here and that is to tell the user if he is going to cancel the chat request and yeah that's it and then here we can display the title for our this uh, alert dialog so we can say already sent request and then we need to remove this first if statement okay which ends here so remove this first statement if statement which if i equals to zero because this is for the uh, i mean the previous ones so we remove that and now here we can say if i becomes equals to zero then we are going to remove the chat request that is if a user wants to cancel the chat request so the rest of the code will be the same okay so you can instead of contact deleted we can say you have cancelled the chat request and yeah that's it now let's run the app so that we can test either it is working or not so the app is running now successfully and now let's go to the uh, request okay and here we go jennifer carter request sent and here you can see you have sent a request to jennifer carter and now first of all let's uh, send another request to some other user and now let's send request to peter parker send okay so it is sent now and if we go back to the request fragment then here you can see that peter parker okay so we have sent uh, two requests to other people and we rece received three requests from the other users i hope you understand this okay these are the received requests that a current user will receive from other people okay and these are the two requests which a current user sent to other user so now the user has option if a user click here on jennifer carter then it says that already sent request if a user want to cancel chat request then he can simply click on that and you can see that is removed successfully you have cancelled the chat request okay so you can see that now we can uh, see both i mean the received request and the sent request so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys uh, like this video and one thing which i want to tell you guys is that some of the viewer requests to work on the notification uh, even if the app is running then we should receive the notification that is the chat uh, notification as you know that we have already implement the uh, notification push notification using firebase console so for now as you know that it is working in the whenever we minimize the app or you can say if the app is not running okay so now in the next video tutorial we will also work on that that is if the app is running that is if a user is using the app then we should also receive the uh, notification of the chat request so yeah we will work on that also and yes we will also implement the online feature and also the last scene of a user so we will further enhance the uh, chats 
functionality and feature so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and don't forget to follow me on my twitter facebook and instagram account where i basically uh, will give you updates about our channel that which products uh, which pro projects we are going to start and on which projects i need your guy uh, i mean your suggestions so yeah thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next video bye for now